This is a video showing you one way of loading Tarja, the um, jigsaw software, onto a Mac. It's not one that I discovered, I found it on somebody's blog which has since been taken down um, a couple of years ago. Um, and I can't claim to be any sort of IT expert, so I've gone online and I've downloaded some software my computer doesn't have any viruses that I know of, but I can't guarantee um, that that's the case. So this is with many disclaimers. So the first step to being able to run Tarja on your Mac is to download, download some software called Wineskin. So it's by a company called Winery. So Wineskin Winery, click me to download. Step one. Okay, so it downloads this file which needs to be unzipped. And then you can open and it should start installing. So now that we have downloaded Wineskin Winery, our next step is to create a wrapper. The wrapper is what allows us to um, install this Windows software within our Mac. So you go to create new wrapper. Let's call it Tarja. I've already set that up. Now we need to be a little bit patient. So it's still waiting for this to set up. It's configuring it. Okay, there we go, wrapper creator is finished. Um, it's useful to make sure you're aware of where it's been saved. Um, I know automatically on my machine it didn't save it in somewhere I would expect and it took quite a while to actually find the wrapper. Okay, so that's done. Our next step is to download the Tarja software. So let's go and find the Tarja software. Oops. Now obviously if you just click the setup um, your Mac's not going to be able to do anything with this file. Okay so that's downloaded now. So I'm going to go and find where my um, Tarja wrapper has been stored. Okay so there should be a folder called Wineskin and it should be one of your wrappers in there. Obviously if you're I'm going to be trying to install other Windows software at a later date. Um, you're going to have other wrappers. So another piece of software that um, is one that isn't it's difficult to get on the Mac um, are the question banks for the IB exams. So it might be you set up a question bank um, wrapper as well. Anyway, here's our Tarja one. So we want to install some software. So we're going to go and choose this setup. Um, if you remember, the file was just downloaded, so if I go to my downloads, um, it should be... Ah, these are all organised by name, that's not very helpful. It would be better if they were organised by date. So, here we go, that's the most recent one, and I'm going 
going to choose that. Now this is the section where it can be a little bit buggy and it might take one or two attempts to get this to work. But we are in luck, there we go, Tarja 3.9 setup. And now it starts looking like um, a Windows machine, basically. Um, okay. And even down to where it's going to install the file. And um, it looks like a Windows directory. Okay, so let's test this out. If we open Tarja. This can sometimes take a while. You feel like nothing's really happening and you start clicking around on things. It's best to just leave it for a minute, but as you saw, that worked fairly quickly. Um, I never really like these tips. So let's close. And there we go. We can start creating a puzzle. So it's slightly strange because you've got a Windows screen, so you've got all like the normal file um, menus that you'd have but within the Mac. So every time you're trying to open a file you're going to have to use the Windows file menu. If you want to finally close your piece of software you're going to go up to your Mac um, and go for quit. And that's how to install Tarja. Enjoy!